So uh, we're at the airport right now. Uh, it's a great day today. A uh, good day to shoot some approaches. So we're going to go up and shoot some approaches and uh, take advantage of the fact that we have about 1,000 foot ceilings back here at our home airport. And there's a couple other airports around where we can go uh, shoot some approaches and uh, see some slightly lower conditions, hopefully, and come back and uh, make sure that we can still get in here. Okay, Cardinal 52667 is cleared to the National Airport via radar vector is cold and is filed. I am maintaining 3000, departure frequency 124.9, squawk 5341, and we're ready to taxi. 667, you're back correct, you're not in sight, you're not back, we'll have to taxi to uh, runway 14 in the mystery at information ending. Cardinal 667, runway heading 14, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 14, fly runway heading 667.
That approach went pretty well, although conditions were not as low as I'd hoped. Minimum descent altitude for this approach is 560 feet, and I broke out at 1200. It's a bit strange to have hoped for worse weather, but in aviation you get to practice what Mother Nature throws at you. Keep in mind that lots of things, including the approach brief, are cut from the video for time's sake. One of the interesting things about this approach is it comes in with a 15 degree offset from the runway, which is quite noticeable here. This is actually half of the maximum that can still be considered a straight-in approach, which is 30 degrees. In reviewing the footage, the Garmin Verb GPS altitude seems to be consistently low by 1 to 200 feet compared to the altimeter. I'm not sure what the cause of this is, but at no point did ATC report my altitude was off. Beverly Tower 667 is on the mist, and uh, we broke up about 1,200. Colonel 667, thanks. Contact Boston. So long. Thank you, Boston. Thanks for help, 667. I made the biggest mistake of the flight right here and climbed about 500 feet on the mist before I ran through the climb checklist and realized the gear was still down and flaps at 10 degrees. This was the result of getting task saturated while hand flying the airplane and making sure the Garmin 430 was correctly sequencing to go to the mist approach waypoint. Aviate first, but definitely get the airplane cleaned up before fiddling with the GPS. Boston approach, good afternoon, Cardinal 52667, back with you on the mist after Beverly. Cardinal 52667, Boston approach, climb and maintain 3000. Leaving 1,800 for Maintain 3,000 until established on the localizer, clear dial S14 approach, Nashua, 667. November 667, contact Nashua Tower, 128.4. Uh, Nashua Tower, 1332. Yes, that's a much better frequency, thank you. 1332, 667. Nashua Tower, good afternoon, Cardinal 52667, ILS 14. Turn to 52667, Nashua turn to 3006. Say report Nori. 3006, report Nori 
Go off Nash Roger that, waiting for your release. Holding for release, that's the time. The previous approach definitely qualified as a loggable approach. I was in the clouds after the funnel approach fix and a good distance after. However, in this ILS, I was in the clouds at glide slope intercept but broke out a few hundred feet before reaching the final approach fix, ignoring. So I would not consider this approach loggable for currency purposes. Nash Tower Cardinal 667 Nori inbound. 467, clear to land, runway 14. Clear to land, 14, 667. <laughs> This is the point where I'd be going missed if I hadn't seen the runway. Six six seven, ready, Charlie. Contact ground, plenty. Have a good day. Ready, right, Charlie. Contact ground. Six six seven. Now your ground, Cardinal five two six six seven at Charlie for uh, Infinity. Cardinal five two six six seven, Nashville ground. Taxi Alpha Delta to parking. Alpha Delta to parking. Six six seven. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more.